There it is. I bet you're higher than me. <laughs> Let's see. We, we, the star paper too, and then the royalty one. These are just. Hey, can we can we get your Donald out here? And we're like, sure. We don't have anything from disciple. I need just some early sixties. All right, hey, we're at the uh, Kansas City Sports Collectible Show. We're gonna go inside, check out some autographs, some, some sports cards, maybe pick some up. I think we'll probably get a box of cards to open up later just for some fun. I've got my oldest with me here today and we're gonna go, uh, go have some fun. What's up, Craig? How you doing, buddy? I'm good, man. What'd you want, Brother Katie? Yeah, let's do, uh, let me take your soda hair and then your uh, tattoos too. Uh, I think that's probably good for now. How's business been for you? Yeah? Anybody run the shop today or no? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Jimmy Garoppolo, man. What's going to happen to that guy, dude? I don't know. Let me, uh, let me get your Iverson slam, too, man. Got a signing with him uh, next week. Yeah. Yeah. Where at? Uh, it's going to be out in uh, North Carolina. Have you ever moved Yeah, yeah. He's cool, man. He's, uh... It depends what kind of mood you get in. <laughs> but Iverson's in a money-making mood, so. But he's a cool guy, man. Those CSG slabs, dude, I think they're the best on the market, dude. I love those ones, dude. Honestly, the, the, I didn't see them. They walked into the shop. Dude, they are so, like, the feel of them, the look of them, the, 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 like, the, the clearness of them. I was very happy with them. Yeah, I think they're going to be, if they can fix their label. I hate the size of the label. I think they, they could be definitely be a player. Yeah. The Gretzky one. Doing a podcast. So we got a Iverson Slam. We'll get that guy uh, signed up uh, next week at the signing. These are pretty cool to get signed here. Uh, let's see, we got a, a Juan Soto Heritage. And then uh, gotta love Gliber as well. That's always a good cheap pickup. I always like those guys. What about your uh, Tatis Heritage? Uh, let me check on that one. I think I got different deals, different times. <laughs> it's all subjective, right? Just yeah. like Graydon. <laughs> it moves pretty fast. Yeah. So like, so like boxes, I don't usually like picking up because it's just a crapshoot. You don't know what you're gonna get. But she likes opening them up every once in a while, so every every often we'll get something fun to open up here, but I don't recommend doing stuff like that. I'd rather buy the exact cards that you're looking for. But it is fun to open stuff up, especially if you can find some cheap stuff that you're not, you know, overly gambled on. Those are really like those. We're out of there. Damn, he just picked those up, but I, I didn't even see that. I should have bought those. Did you just pick up those, you just pick up those KU papers? Just, just the rock top. Man, dude, I didn't even see those. Good job on those ones, man. Those are hard to find. Yeah, I know, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Those are your Royals papers over there? I only took one, so. You only took one? Yeah, there's the other one. All right. I'll take your uh, your Royals ones and your uh, last uh, KU one, too. Yeah, just bring them all over here and I'll give you a deal. But that's, that's just all right, these are the two. There. Yeah, got here in the side wall. Boy, this is these are the two guys you want. These are these are hard to find, dude. You'd think they'd be easy because they're newspapers, but like getting something like this signed, oh, man. The star paper, too, and then the royalty one, these are just... Get these things framed up. They sell for like 150 framed or so. I think he said five bucks, five or ten bucks, dude. Which I, I think I paid like 30 of these before. <laughs> so let's go find out and see what we get. <laughs> Let me get some cash for you. Hold on. Okay. Get 10 bucks on you? Uh, oh, yeah, look at this, dude. <laughs> I don't carry this fake money stuff, man. Especially these ones, man. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. All right, Evan. Here's your change, bud. Tim Tebow making it back into the cases. Almost never see Tim Tebow anymore, but he had a big run on him. He just signed with the Jaguars. So people were picking him up, thinking he was going to be a big play, but I mean, I love Tim Tebow, but he's not an investment piece. <laughs> Swap that for the Soto and pay an extra 10. Thanks, man. Missed that one when I first saw it. <laughs> yeah, not this exact, but that, that card right there. That's the one that she pulled at one time. Back when it was a thousand dollar card or whatever. Now what is that? I don't know. Is it three hundred dollars? That's a twenty twenty. Yeah, no, but is it a three hundred dollar card now? Yeah, that's crazy. I always get the good ball and you get the bad balls. I know, I know. Salvador Perez MVP ball. He's a good seller.
Look, look at these crappy accounting practices in this industry. He's just writing stuff down. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. In the age of QuickBooks and phones, I mean, just writing everything down. <laughs> Well, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me break it out. Let me see what I think you're gonna say. Let me see. Let me see what I can actually do here. Hold on. Ready? You won't come up with my number. No, probably not. Uh, all right. Let's see. Here you go. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, let's see what it is. I bet you're higher than me. <laughs> let's see. We, you know, we can play this game. Oh, oh, you show me your oh, no. mine. Okay, let's let's put it right here. All right, flip it over. Flip it over. Let's see. Oh, see how far we are. See. So Craig, Craig represents Acuna, so he's got basically the the best price you're gonna find on him. Like he's the, the source to go to, you know. So just trying to figure out if it makes sense to pick up some balls at the price he's got there. I mean, it's just there's a lot of competition for him, so you gotta gotta make sure you get the right price on stuff. And uh, but you also want to be fair to him too, you know. You don't want him losing money. That's not that's not the object of the game. A good deal is where everybody wins, right? You know. So I don't like deals where one person loses and the other person wins. You know, you want everybody to be successful in this business. So uh, we'll see if we can come to a dealer. I think we can. Top three tips, man. Well, say hello to people. That's the first thing. You know, make sure you, you meet people. And because you never know the connections you can make when you come to a show uh, that we're going to help you in your collection or your business or whatever it is. So always talk to people, man. Make sure you, you know, find out what they do, what they specialize in. And you might be surprised. I mean, there's, you're shocked. There's people that don't sell online that just do car shows and stuff like that that can really help you out as far as filling out stuff in your collection and whatnot. Second thing I would definitely would, would do is come, come up with a plan, right? You know, know what you're going after. Me, I've been doing this for almost 20 years, so I know when I walk into a show, like, hey, listen, this is the stuff that sells, this is the stuff I want, like, I know it all. But if you don't know that, come up with a list of stuff that you're looking for. And the third thing is, is make sure that you have a budget, too, that, like, hey, listen, I don't want to spend over this amount, because, you know, $100 here, $100 here, 100 here, that definitely can add up there. So make sure you have some sort of strict budget that you're willing to follow there. But no. How yeah. old is Oakley? She's going to be three next month. Wow. My uh, youngest will be four next month. Very so cool. Guess you're about the same size. Is this your, is this is my oldest, nice. Madison. Yeah. She's, she'll be nine next month. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you got a little buzz. Look at that right there, huh? It's the sound of e-commerce right there. We just picked up some Acuna baseballs here. Uh, honestly, probably along with Tatis and probably one of the best players in baseball. Uh, I like these ones because they come with JSA witness authentication, which uh, that's definitely what you want with uh, Acuna. Representative from JSA was present for the signing with him. Um, and that's honestly, for baseball stuff, along with Fanatics, probably one of the best authentications that you can get. And then baseballs just sell, man. I mean, baseballs are the super easiest thing for me to sell because they're small, they're easily collectible. And um, people just like this stuff, man. Especially of superstar baseball players, it's just a it's just a no-brainer stuff to carry. How do you spell his name? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're with uh, Craig Cook here over the Kansas City Sports Collectibles show. Craig, uh, tell me what we got going on today, man. Yeah, no, it's a two-day show that we put on uh, for everybody. We've been doing it for literally every other month for over 20 years. 20 years? And uh, yes, we've had our ups and downs. They've moved us. We've been out in this spot for about 19 of the years. We used to be in Lee Summit and they moved us. Um, and we've been upstairs in this facility and uh, we over with the swimming pool. We used to be there and now we're over here. So it's it's been, been consistent. It's just what people want. So tell me about what you were just talking about charging the dealers. I mean, it seems like you give them a really fair price here to come here. Yeah, no, really, uh, for the dealers, I'm not trying to make money off promoting this show, but just because it's sustainable, that what we've done, I charge them for the price of the room. So they're paying, and actually, it's really reasonable um, for two days, our hot sellers. That's the question I get asked every single week is, can you do Patrick Mahomes autograph signing? You've done a bunch of signings with him, man. What, what's, the, what's the deal? He doesn't want to do any more public stuff, or what, what, what can you share about that as far as doing like a public autograph signing with Mahomes? I mean, would that be just like bringing in the United States president to do an autograph signing? It won't happen. I mean, he did that one um, about two years ago out in off the East Coast in that March, and that'll be the last one he does. So, um, I mean, I don't want to never say never. It's, it's no different than George Brett. I mean, 
He will never do a signing here. He'll do, do private signings down in spring training. Um, that's George, but Patrick, no. All right, so outside, of course, you know, Mahomes and, you know, Bobby Witt, what else you got going on? What else is kind of your big hot sellers? Is it mainly the cards, the autographs? What else you got going on? You know, it's a mixed bag. Um, I used to be <laughs> pre pandemic I was memorabilia and always wanted to go more memorabilia get out of the side of the card market my theory was um, you go to a baseball football game and there's make 70,000 fans um, 50 of those 50,000 of those fans are going to collect memorabilia they want a piece to frame give to somebody you know as a gift um, the card market was like 5,000 people so the market was different there, there could be definitely a big upswing in the card market but remember, Billy is sustainable. Um, you always have athletes coming through the system, through college, and always it, it'll always be there. All right, and uh, last thing here, let's talk about some of the athletes that you've worked with. We've got Acuna here. We've got a bunch of other guys here. Who's like your favorite athlete to like work with? Like just like a down to earth kind of cool guy that you just like. Wow, I love working with this guy. Or can it be the opposite? Like who's the guy like that you can? Don't mention names, but like, but <laughs> who can you mention? Well, on both ends of that spectrum. Um, there are definitely some of those athletes that it, it shocks me. They sign up to do a private, and when they get there, they are just complete a-holes. I mean, it's like they don't want to be there. It's like, well, why did you do this? You know what I mean? And, and you try to talk to them, and they don't want anything to do with you. I mean, it. you know, you, you try to be that friendly face. And I'm a friendly face. I could talk to anybody. I'm not a sales guy, but I could talk to them. And... Um, they don't want anything to do with you. So we have those people that we deal with all the time, which sucks because, you know, I mean, it's behind closed doors too. You know, you would think that they would be very open, be more themselves, not the case. Um, but on the flip side, then you've got some of those athletes that truly care. Um, Salvador Perez in his early days was one of them. You know, he was happy all the time. We actually had him out here with Jordano Ventura together. And once the, the crowd kind of dissipated a little bit, you know, we your Donald's camp called us the night before and said, Hey, can we can we get your Donald out here? And we're like, sure, we don't have anything from the sign. Sure, bring him out here. And what happened was Perez got up behind his table, kind of snuck behind the crowd and, and then walks up to your Donald's table and asked for his autograph. <laughs> you know what it was it was the greatest thing ever and they all laughed and stuff so you know but you get those times you know you, then you get to they're, they're humanized well there's one player when, when he's doing signings we're playing music loud because they like and he's singing and signing and just going to town and he's just happy-go-lucky you know and um, you know that's what makes them human real and and why we continue to do it you know so <laughs> All right, we got some uh, cards we're gonna open up here just for just for giggles. Oh, jeez! <laughs> All right, so we got some uh, top series one here, and then we're gonna open up uh, some uh, football chronicles. Chronicles are super fun. You just kind of never know what you're gonna get there. And then I kind of like some Diamond Kings here. It's just old school stuff here. You got some rooks in there, but get Ruth and all that, that kind of stuff. It. Yeah, you'll find out today. All right, first one we're going to open up here is Panini Chronicles football. So the problem is they put five cards in every pack. So you have to open up like a million packs. Like, like, Dad, remember that basketball thing we opened? That big basketball one? Yeah. It had like so many packs. Like, the <laughs> like 400 cards in the box. And like, we had, there was like five in a pack. Oh, man, this is Maybe brutal. Like 20 or 10 in a pack. You just want to quit halfway through. You're just like, can I just get this all one pack, open. please? Yeah, so they do these like acetate cards that are clear. So these are always kind of cool here. But uh, Chronicles is just kind of like a mixture of like, like everything. Ooh, there you go. That's a good one right there. Jalen Hurts Black. Two a clear vision. These kind of clear cards are kind of, I don't know, they're interesting. They're tough to grade though, I bet, because they get so many scratches on. I don't even know what they are. Let's see. You don't know what I, Let's see what they got, how many packs are in, or how many cards are in each pack. I don't know anybody. Okay, so these are kind of cool. They're known for like the kind of artsy work there. Justin Bieber, Justin Bieber. <laughs> Shane Bieber. <laughs> kind of Babe Ruth. I mean, Babe Ruth cards, I mean, obviously most people can't afford the rookie cards that he has or really any of his older cards. 
So getting a lot of the modern stuff is actually a good way to actually collect Babe Ruth. Because it's actually fairly affordable. This guy has actually become very popular with his cards, which is ironic for a pitcher. Like usually pitchers aren't all that collectible. All right, so like cheap little boxes like this where you spend 15, 20 bucks, you're not gonna get any big cards, but it's super fun to open and you kind of find some fun little stuff here. So they got Freddie Freeman, big popular player. Of course, DeGrom too. DeGrom's been real popular lately. Uh, and of course, anything, Cunha is just, I love getting anything from him. And then of course, I've talked about him a lot. Babe Ruth, getting him into your collection or, or selling him. Um, it's just a no-brainer because people can't afford the older cards because they're thousands and thousands of dollars. All right, last one. I don't understand why they can't put the cards in the same order and the packs. You gotta flip them around all the time. Oh yeah, all right, yeah. here you go. Vlad, and how about a guy that's really taken off? I can never tell with these cards whether they're supposed to be off-centered like that or it's just how they are, but I always look at these ones and I'm just like, gosh, that is off-center. But it looks cool because it looks like you get an autograph on there. Of course, it's just printed on there, but. These are fun little cards. Like, is this jersey number seven? That card's gotta be a nightmare to grade. <laughs> Look at all those edges. I mean, zero chance you ever grade a card like that. So $95 spent, you probably got $40 worth of cards, <laughs> maybe. But it's just the fun part of opening them up. Let's just go indoor, not bad. And then uh, pretty much anything. Tatis Jr. is popular, but I mean, these are dollar card so uh let's see we opened up uh panini diamond kings today not bad um and top series one and then probably the best one to open up was uh panini chronicles for football which we got that jalen hurts black which i think that's probably i don't know what that is going for right now let's see what it's going for wow now you gotta look up everything oh there you go $12 card. <laughs> Back to the future, DeLorean. I mean, look at this thing. This would be a perfect car in Italy for you. Right, and I'll be walking. <laughs> He's got the, oh, 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 oh. nice, here you look. I mean, I think that was worth it just to stop and see the, the, the DeLorean, huh? All right, everybody, thanks again for coming along. Something a little bit different for the show today. Uh, I know we're not going to those uh, big shows like at the Dallas Sports Card Show, or uh, I feel like we should have said we were going to Burbank Sports Cards. That's what everybody says in their vlogs, but uh, something a little bit different. Smaller Kansas City show, which I absolutely love. The Olympic Sports Card Show is cool. It's run up by Craig, does a great job, man. You get to see a lot of cool stuff at the small card shows, which you don't typically see at the bigger ones there, but. Wanted to bring Madison along with today. Uh, we're gonna eat some Freddy's here and just kind of chill out and uh, appreciate you guys coming along. Make sure you guys visit the website, powersportsmobility.com. Also gonna follow up there on Instagram, at Powers Autographs. Did you have fun? All right, see you guys in the next episode.